Good morning. My name is Kevin Kolak. I am a full-time tenured faculty member at Queensborough Community College, and I wanted to offer some testimony on increased class size at CUNY, but at Queensborough specifically. Uh, uh, as former chair of the e-learning committee for the five years ending uh, this past year. Uh, we worked very, very, very hard developing e-learning guidelines for Queensboro based on best practices throughout the industry. And while I realize that the COVID situation has presented an unprecedented <laughs> set of circumstances for us to deal with, Best practices are smaller class sizes in online learning for a manageable workload for faculty and for a productive environment for students. And the uh, class sizes during the pandemic have been increased rather than decreased uh, in light of the fact that many, many, many adjuncts were laid off and then our classes were overloaded with students. Um, makes this situation extraordinarily uh, inequitable and unfair to the adjuncts, unfair to the faculty who are teaching extra large classes, and unfair to the students who are already dealing with wildly insane circumstances, uh, learning from home in, in very uncertain times, uh, never mind their, their learning environments. Uh, and for our displaced adjunct faculty members who have uh, many of whom have lost health insurance and uh, and their entire income, which was meager to begin with. Class sizes must be returned to at least pre pandemic levels. And if classes are to remain online, they must conform to industry guidelines, lest CUNY's reputation be severely damaged. And those industry guidelines are putting classes around the 16 student size, not around the 30 plus or much, much, much higher uh, number that has uh, been going on for the past eight months. I thank you for your time and uh, strongly urge you to consider industry best practices, the plight of adjuncts, and the uh, overwhelming workload for faculty who have uh, managed to retain their jobs uh, and teach throughout all of this. Thank you.